Sorry about the audio, I don't know what happened. Alrighty, let me show you some loot that I got from Costco. Starting off, I found this cat tunnel for the kitten that we just got. She loves playing with the rabbit tunnels, so I thought she would love this. I already opened this, but I found some NYX lip oils. I'm wearing the pink one. I'm disappointed that it doesn't have as much glitter. It's just like, the color is really pretty. But if you look at the bottle, it has very pretty glitter that just doesn't show up. It comes with these three colors, red, the pink one, and the clear one. Got this oil cleansing makeup remover also. It was all by itself, so I didn't know what the price was, but I looked up the reviews online and they were pretty good. So I decided to buy it and I bought it for about $12, which is a pretty good deal because they retail for about 20 each. So girl math, I got one for free. Last but not least, I found this really cute rug with mushrooms. I'm like, look at that. And it's really plush too. There's the kitten. She is the sweetest little thing. We got her through the cat distribution system. She has a little bit of a chomping problem, but yeah, we've been trying to redirect her with toys. I'm hoping it works because her teeth are getting sharp. For breakfast, I am doing black bean burgers. Lately, I've been trying to do a more whole food plant-based diet, but I just don't like spending a lot of time preparing meals. I just like things that are quick and simple. The black bean patties I'm using, I just pop them in the microwave and the ingredients are just like black bean, rice, and corn. My latest obsession lately is pickled onion. I've been making my own because these store-bought ones look very questionable, but it's really easy. All you need to do is cut up your onions and add salt, water, and vinegar. My favorite thing to do with pickled onions is do avocado toast on sourdough and you put the pickled onions on top of the avocado. I think cilantro lime dressing would be really good on this burger, but I haven't had the willpower to make it. I am using broccoli sprouts, and this is really bad to say, but I love alfalfa sprouts. Even though they come with a salmonella risk, but the taste and texture of them is so pleasing. This is gonna sound backwards, but for lunch, I am having cereal. I really like this one because it tastes like cocoa puffs to me, and the ingredients are actually pretty simple. I also really like how it's not loaded with sugar and I'm having it with a protein shake. As of right now, I really like Orgain plant-based protein because it doesn't taste like chalk. For a midday sweet treat, I'm having some high chews. For dinner, I'm making plant-used spring rolls. Sometimes I freestyle recipes, like if I don't have the ingredient or I just don't like it. Plant U is actually one of my favorite cookbooks and I really want her new one called Scrappy Cooking. A mandolin kitchen slicer is a game changer, but you have to really watch out for your fingers. There's this cucumber salad trend going on TikTok, and I've just seen so many people cut their hands, so if you use this, please be careful. Or use like one of those guards. I will say this meal does take a lot of prep work, but something that can save you time is cutting the vegetables in advance. I've been looking into getting a new cutting board, but for each material, there are pros and cons. My body is probably just filled with microplastics, so it probably wouldn't make a difference if I continue to use this cutting board. But also I want a new one because this one is pretty old and really scratched up, so I'm kind of worried there's like bacteria deep in the crevices. Fun fact about red cabbage is that it's actually pretty high in antioxidants, and it's pretty affordable and can last a few weeks in your fridge. I got these bean vermicelli noodles, and they cook very quickly. I'm pretty sure I overcooked them. I'm just putting the noodles and vegetables on rice paper, and then I'm just gonna roll it up like a burrito. I tend to overfill my spring rolls, so they tend to break, and I have to go in with backup. And it still ended up a little busted looking, but hey, it's edible and still kind of pretty. This one, I'm going without the noodles, so I can put in more vegetables. And I did a lot better job at wrapping this one up. I feel like it's really hard to wrap them up because the paper is pretty sticky and it just sticks to your fingers. And it's also very thin and breaks easily. I really like how aesthetically pleasing this meal is with all of the colors and it is actually one of my favorite ways to get more vegetables in. And the peanut sauce that goes with it is pretty good. The recipe calls for lime, but I haven't been bold enough to try that yet. Maybe next time the peanut sauce you want to use warm water or you want to use a mini whisk because if you use a fork with cold water it is going to be very difficult to mix and you can use any amount of water it just depends on the viscosity you want for the sauce 
and look at how aesthetically pleasing that is. This is one of my favorite ice creams. It is so good. The cashew milk is so creamy. And of course, I'm eating it with a spork. What else would I eat it with? And I like to put it in an ice cream dish to keep me from eating the whole pint. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your week.